Howdy, Paws and Patty here, and I'm just putting down some newspapers because I plan to get messy today. So come on along. Yes, so today I'm going to get messy. I got out a bag of old paint that I'm going to use. I have my Dilusions Mixed Media Journal. I have my prompts from January 1st. Now these are Janet Nash prompts from her live, which is held on Monday morning. And January 1st prompts are to smoosh paint. She used bubble wrap, add jewels and string. <laughs> and I'm going to use these flowers that I showed you the other day as an inspiration for this collage page. But first, I have to explain to Rhonda at Junk Journal Diva <laughs> why I'm using a page from the journal that I won from her as the background in this journal. This is the journal that I won from Rhonda. It's an altered book. I did add a slow stitch sunflower to the cover because it was a sunflower journal. And she had put four signatures in this journal. Well, I hadn't even finished the first signature and that's how chunky it's gotten already. So I figured instead of the four signatures that she put in there, I would probably only have to fill up two of them. <laughs> so I did a little cosmetic surgery, Rhonda, on the journal, and I took out two of the signatures, but I am going to be using these papers both in this journal and, as you can see, other journals as well. She had some really nice paper in this journal. So that's the story of how Rhonda's paper from this journal got into the Dilutions journal. Nothing goes to waste at Soggy Bottom. I also have a pile of journals down there on the floor that I'm working on because the other morning when I glued this in, I decided to glue some backgrounds in some of the other journals. So they're just sitting over there. They were drying, but I piled them up now. So they're sitting there waiting to get their pages done. So come on in closer and we'll get started. I'm going to move this over for a few minutes. I took out a gel plate. And I'm going to use the gel plate to put the paint on to dip my fun items into before I smoosh them on some paper. I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Instead of going directly onto the page with the paint, I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to use all these fun things to smooth some paint on some other paper. I do have some book pages here. I could use these. Yeah, this would be a nice idea. I'm going to smooth it right over the words and then when they're dry, I'm going to cut out some of these shapes and then put them together on the page to make the flowers. Now my idea is to use the string prompt to make the stems and then maybe add a couple of jewels when I'm done. Now these are Artist Loft, which is a Michaels brand gouache paint, which is an opaque watercolor. I have a few that are open I'd like to use up, but that's not enough colors. So I'm going to have to open up another pack. And I did buy these, oh my gosh, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, I was doing a project, nature journaling project with some children, and we used up a bunch, but I bought extra. 
and I probably got these on sale at a good price. I don't remember how much, but this pack is brand new. So I hope they're still good. Let's see what colors. I want purple. Do I want green? Let's see, I've got a yellow and a dark yellow and a dark blue. Get a light blue here. Dark blue, light blue. I don't think I'll use brown. I might do a little green. Oh, Viridian. Oh, yes. So we got a light green and a blue green, a yellow green and a blue green. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just take out all the colors. Okay. I love my colors. Now this is going to be some fun, easy, messy play. I'm going to start with purple. This is the bottom of uh, a styrofoam package you would buy your meat in at the grocery store. As you can see, I've already used it for painting. And I'm going to smoosh. This is all about smooshing. I'm going to smoosh some paint on there. Kind of looks good on here, doesn't it? Hmm, that gives me an idea. <laughs> That's not what I was going to do. What I was going to do was this. But both ways work. If I take white... Now you really don't need a tutorial on how to smoosh paint. <laughs> you just grab some paint and something to smoosh it with and you smoosh. I'm going to mix some of that purple with some white. Isn't that pretty? And grab something different. This is the corrugated paper, you know, that you find when you buy biscuits or cookies. And I'm just going to smoosh some color on there. Yes, 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 yes. I love that. This is the top to something. Push down and turn. <laughs> Close tightly. Oh, I wonder how the side. Should I do the white space too? I was thinking about having those words underneath, but I can always do the white space too. Time. I have a spray bottle of water and a towel, and I'm going to wipe this off and do a different color. Let's see what this color looks like. And I might do another two-tone. I really like how that came out. So I'm going to put a little dark. So Janet Nash used bubble wrap. So let's try some bubble wrap. I'm going to spread that a little bit. Now, if you don't have bubble wrap, you know, you could just crinkle up a piece of saran wrap and use that. And you could put the paint, like, right down on the paper and scrunch it with some saran wrap. And get some texture in there. Now this is an experiment. You can try anything you can find around the house. You can use acrylic paint. I'm just using this gouache paint because it is so old. Although <clears throat> it wasn't open, so I guess it would last a long time. Now I'm gonna add some lighter color to that. Too much came out of the tube. 
mix it up. Oh, isn't that pretty? Ooh. Hmm. I kind of like that. <laughs> I wonder what that would look like. Kind of thick though, but oh, look at the pattern on there. Hmm, should we let that dry like that? I love that. Hmm, all right, we're gonna let that one dry. <laughs> we're gonna let that one dry. We're gonna grab a piece of cardboard. Need some more white. Just smoosh paint all over this. Remember, it doesn't have to look like anything, it doesn't have to be anything. You're just making some painty paper. I'm going to be cutting this up and making flowers. So this part is just painty play. I'm going to let these dry. Okay, I'm opening up this old Prussian blue. It's a little thick. Maybe if I add some of that white, which is pretty fresh. That's nice and juicy. Nice and juicy. Okay, time to smush. Oh, you can smush with this, right? You have a palette knife. I could smush. Wow, this Prussian blue is really dark, but I'm going to put some of the lighter blue on top. Okay, let's see. Should we go for some more? Lovely, lovely. This is why I like to work with a gel plate because any bit of paint that is left on there, I could pick it up with another piece of paper and continue to make painty papers that way. Oh, there's some white, but you know what? I have a light blue, cerulean blue. Go back to some bubble wrap. Ooh, I like that. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. How about some bright yellow? This is another old one. Get my helpers out here. My helper pliers. Smush this around a little bit. Just getting some of this yellow down on the page. And it's so light, I'm going to put a darker color on top. I didn't open up the orange, did I? It's an orange red, vermilion. Oh, I love how this darker color looks on top of the yellow. And let's try something we haven't used for a few minutes. Is that enough color on there? Yeah. Okay, let's see. What didn't I use yet? I've got blue, purple, yellow, orange. Let's try this pale green. And what should I schmoo with now? Let's see. I've got a toilet roll, toilet paper roll here. I 
that's nice, but not giving me enough color to cover. Because the idea is to schmoo. Ah, there we go. This will work. Okay, that's pretty schmooed. I could almost put a color on top of this. Hmm. What can I put? Put some yellow. I want to use up this old yellow. Uh oh, that's the <laughs> that's the back of the bubble wrap. Okay, for something different, we will use the back of the bubble wrap <laughs> instead of the circle side. We'll use the plain side. Okay, I would say that's pretty much smooth. I was going to stop, but you know, once you start this business, <laughs> it is so hard to stop. I was trying to make some more purple. And then I got the idea for maybe a pink. So I squeezed out a little bit of red here. Let's see where this is going to go. What should I schmoo with? Hmm. Bring back the purple. And pink. I like the combination of these little darker dots inside the lighter paint. Ooh, ooh, I love that. That came out really nice. I'm glad I didn't stop. Yeah, let's do another one. <laughs> let's do a light blue one. Let's do a light blue one. What do I want to schmoo with? I want to use these again. That's got some green on there, but you know what? Oh, we can use this one. I'll put a little more blue. And smooth that on there. Just like that. Now, all I have to do is cut some of these fun circle shapes. Now, they're very wonky. Ooh, I kind of like this one with the spiral. Things coming out. I was just going to do these, but I kind of like that one, too. For today, I'm going to stay away from the daisy shapes, but maybe I will combine... <laughs> These two crazy ones, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that over there for my inspiration. Now, inspiration doesn't mean copy exactly. Just kind of do your own thing and be inspired. Now, I have to be careful. I don't make these too large because I just have this amount of space. But we are going to layer them up. What should I put inside of green? And I can always change these as I go along. See, that's too big. Make a smaller one. And then you put them a little off center. And we need a color to put inside of there, maybe blue. I'm going to cut a little blue wonky shape like that. <laughs> now I might change this as I go along. A 
And where's the dark? Let's put a dark blue in the background of one of them. And where's the yellow? Oh, I kind of like that one with the stripes. I could take this and hold it there so I make sure I make one bigger. Now that's going to be really big. I might have to cut that pink one down. Or not. I could have a really big flower. I'll have some big, some little. Let's mix it up. I'm not sure I'm loving that. I might love that. I do love that. I think I'm going to cut this one down. Or you know what? I think I'm going to make these pink ones the one with the doodle in them. A couple of little ones. Let's see. I want some more purple. So I'm going to go ahead and commit and just glue these down with some glue stick. And because this is some really chunky <laughs> gouache, I didn't even add water. I feel like I should seal these with some Mod Podge. But before I do that, I have another idea. Just get these glued down here. One more. So I was looking at the flowers and I do really like this black line. So before I put some Mod Podge on there, I think I'm going to do a doodle line around the flowers. I'm going to use my Secura glaze pen. Hope I didn't get too much glue on these. And just put a nice thick black line like that. Now I want to put another circle in the middle, but I know I'm going to be adding some jewels, so I'm going to hold off on that one. And this one, I am making this other pattern it went like this I have a spiral and then I'm gonna go twice around the outside make that nice and thick and then this one had I'm just gonna put a couple dots on it like that and then it had some crazy lines coming up. And the lines were like thicker in places, thinner. Just some crazy lines. Like that. Oh, I love that one. I love it. I love it. I wonder if I should draw another circle and then I could put the jewel right in the center of that, like that. Ooh, that may be interesting. Right, we're going to go like this because I'm working from this side and these are still wet. This is a dimensional gel pen, so it takes a minute to dry. I can't tell you how many times I've schmooed the ink. <laughs> Just like we schmooed the paint, right? Got to be careful because there's some areas of glue stick. I tried to be neat, but... I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other ones. 
Get a nice thick black line all around. That was fun. I might do that again right there. Well, that was super fun. <laughs> These are my wonky, wonky flowers. Now I am going to very carefully seal in the color with some Mod Podge. And this just happens to be sparkle. And I want to go very lightly because I don't want to pick up the color that's already down there. I just want to seal it in. Well, Jewels was one of the prompts, right? <laughs> and this Mod Podge is very jewel-like. I have a handful of string. These are Baker's Twine from the Dollar Tree. I chose the pink one to make the stems. I think the easiest way to do this, maybe, would be just to draw a line with some tacky glue. Like that, <laughs> hopefully. And just stick the string down. Oop. <laughs> well, we knew that was going to happen. All right, stick the string down right into the glue. I'm just going to tap it down so it makes contact with the glue. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones. I am loving this so much. <laughs> I'm just looking at it and it's making me laugh. For a little interest, I did put the stem of this one behind that one. And this one was kind of straight, but I thought I wanted to put a little bit of a curve or bend in some of the other ones. And now I'm feeling the need to add some white dots to the darker ones, like the lighter one has the black dot. I'm going to try a Posca pen because I already have Mod Podge on there. I probably should have done this before. Let's see how that comes out. We'll see how that dries. I still have to add my jewels. Posca is a paint pen, so you do have to shake it up a little bit. This one's really dark. It's like little seeds in the flowers. Yeah, I'm going to go find some jewels. Now, I haven't hauled these yet, but I'm going to do a big haul of Crafter Square tiles, borders, and gems. I found some really nice things at the Dollar Tree. But I got them out because I'm loving these shapes. And I thought they would fit perfectly into these flowers. Some of them look a little big, but you know what? I'm going to go for it. So I've got clear, light pink, dark pink, light red, dark red, light yellow, and a golden yellow. So let me see. I also have some round ones. I like these golden ones. I could even do something like that. Yes, 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 I like that. See, now this is so dark. How would one of these lighter ones look on there? These are quite chunky. <laughs> so two more, one there and one there. a different color? Should I stick to the same colors? I think and I want to put a round one up here just to make that one different. And I think I'm going to go with the pink. Yes. Yes, yes, and one for there. I 
Ooh, this really dark ruby red. Well, these wonky flowers are just making me smile. I had so much fun today, starting from putting a background paper on to getting out the paint and having a colorful play. And I'm going to be saving these scraps and using them in other projects. And then cutting out these wonky circles and layering them up like this, arranging them on the page, getting out some pens and having a doodle, covering them up with some sparkle Mod Podge. I don't know if you can see how they sparkle, but yeah, they're sparkly. Adding the stems by using string and the finishing touch, precious jewels. <laughs> and I just want to thank Janet Nash for the fun Monday prompts. And I want to thank you for coming along today for some gentle journaling. Bye-bye now.